Everybody is for Amendment 2. Are you on this episode of Title Tuesdays? Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. We are on location for a very special episode today over at Charles Ruttenberg Realty, which is right next door to our office. For those of you that have been following me for many years, you know that our office started over here about 10 or 11, almost 11 years ago now, where we are the in-house title company. And today I'm joined by a very special guest, the broker and owner, Cynthia Benchek. So thanks for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me here today, Kevin. A great topic to talk about. Awesome. So I wanted to produce this because we know the vote's coming up soon right here uh, in November. So I wanted to produce this and get it out to the masses because we have a very important topic to talk about, which is voting yes for Amendment 2. So thanks for watching this episode and make sure you share this on social media. We'll talk more about that towards the end of this video. So Cindy, tell me who is Amendment 2 good for? Amendment 2 is for everybody. It's not only good for renters and consumers, seniors, veterans, fixed incomes, but it's good for our communities. That's important. You know, Cindy uh, brokers hundreds and hundreds of agents here in South Florida. And, and it's important, we do a lot of investment work too, to realize this is non-homesteaded property, second homes. This is talking about a tax cap for people that have investment property. So a lot of our clients are investors. And this is going to affect their, directly at their pocket level. So this is not just for real estate agents to get out and vote, this is for everybody to get out and vote. Yeah, this is definitely for those uh, that prices will change around the board for everyone for non-homesteaded properties because look how many people that you really have coming from out of state investing in second homes here and um, this also affects rent on you know buildings such as the one that I'm in um, what we're going to see is at Home Depot and Lowe's they're going to increase their prices uh, if ho non-homestead increases aren't capped they're capped right now at 10% getting ready to sunset we need to act on this right now building homes and getting building material will be much more expensive. And that's a lot of our investors out there. You know, I, I know one of our investors spends over six figures at Home Depot every single year. This is a direct effect to your pocket because as soon as these prices go up, it is going to affect the housing market, it's gonna affect the investment market, and, and people are gonna have a big problem if they don't go, to, go get out and, and vote yes for this. Yeah, keep in mind, there's no direct impact on homestead exemptions. This does not affect school taxes. Uh, this is just something that's gonna to help to cap the tax for all of us, and especially renters. These are folks that are trying to be home owners one day, so we also need to extend this to them also in getting that cap on there. Yeah, because think about it. If you're an investor out there and you have an investment property That's right. and your landlord now taxes increase, guess what else is going to increase? That's your right. rent. So it's going to cost the renter that's trying to put maybe an extra $100 away to eventually have a down payment on a home. That's going to go to the increased rent because it's just a trickle down effect. So this is going to affect our entire real estate market in this state. So you need to get out and vote yes for Amendment 2 on voting day. So just remember one more time that the question is always, <clears throat> excuse me, do out of state businesses or residents benefit from this? Amendment 2 is for everybody. It's not a catchphrase. Keep that in mind. It's the truth. Anyone that owns home, non-homestead property in Florida will benefit. Keeping property taxes low for out of state businesses and residents that are looking to invest in Florida is, a, is good for all of us because it helps Florida's economy grow and it brings jobs to our state. This is, it's an amazing thing to get out there and vote. And, and if you're not an agent with Cindy, you may want to look at it. She has these signs around the office that you're able to put out at your listings. Share on social media. If you share this video and one person watches it, that could change the way this vote goes. So it's very important to share this message on social media. Take pictures if you see a, an amendment to sign. Talk to your local real estate investors and let them know what's going on because this is a very important time that we need to make sure we get out and vote to change what could or could not happen to our local real estate economy. So, so let's cap the tax. Awesome. So don't forget, vote. Amendment 2, yes 
on voting day. So thanks for joining me today. You know, it's always good to come over and talk with you and share amazing messages. We're gonna come do this a little bit more often and get some messages out to some people. But I wanted to do this one quick because I think it's important you're talking about it, you believe in it, and, and it's so important to get the message out to the people that are watching before voting day so they don't say, well, I didn't know. So now you know if you're watching this video, get out and vote yes for Amendment 2. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Kevin. As always, this is Kevin Tatcher signing off. And don't forget to subscribe below, share on social media, and text in to join our VIP list. You can text in the word title to 31996 and you'll get VIP access to all of our amazing videos. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. I look forward to seeing you voting yes on election day. Kevin Tatcher signing off. Look forward to seeing you at the closing day.